to this session i am agesh kumar assistant professor department of mechanical engineering sri guru institute of technology coimbatore now we are going to be see about power transmission power transmission is a movement of energy from its place of generation to a location where it is applied to perform useful work types of power transmitting systems are belt drive rope drive chain drive and gear drives when we are going to use the gear drives slipping of the belt or rope is a common phenomenon in the transmission of power between two shafts the slipping can be reduced in gear drives gear drives transmit a exact velocity ratio it may be used to transmit large power it has high efficiency and compact layout what is gear a gear is a component which a transmission device that transmit rotational force to the another gear this is the one gear this is the another gear if it is one gear is rotated the another gear going to be rotated that is nothing but rotational power can be transmitted from the one shaft to the another shaft types of gears according to the position of axis of shaft there are three classifications first one is parallel in parallel spur gear helical gear rack and pinion the second one is intersecting intersecting example is bevel gear non intersecting on non parallel example is worm and worm gears first we can see about spur gear this is the spur gear here teeth is parallel the teeth is parallel to the axis of rotation this is the rotation of the axis of rotation this teeth and axis of rotation is parallel this transmit the power from one shaft to another shaft that is nothing but in the parallel shaft the spur gear used in wind up alarm clock washing machine and cloth dryers external and internal spur gears there are two classification in spur gears the first one is external this is the example of external gear the gear measures with externally with each other the teeth formed this is the teeth form on the outer surface the direction of the two shafts are different that is nothing but if it is rotated in the clockwise direction this is going to be rotated in the anti clockwise direction this is the external spur gear next internal gear this is the internal gear here teeth are formed on the inner surface this is the inner surface here the direction of the two shafts are same if it is the shaft is rotating in the clockwise direction the other shaft is going to be rotating the clockwise direction next what is meant by gear and pinion is very very important when it large in diameter it is called as gear when small in diameter it is called pinion this is called gear it is called pinion there is no more clarification in the gear and pinion the pinion is nothing but small in size the gear is nothing but large in size the next driver and driven first we want to about driver in a transmission system the one which device or supplies power to the other is called driver the driven is nothing but in transmission system the one who follows the driver or is the power from driver listen here this is the driver this is the driven first we are going to give the power to the driver the power is given to the driver the driven tends to rotate that is nothing but driven get the power from the driver this is helical gear the teeth on the helical gear are cut at an angle to the face of the gear here in this the teeth is cut at an angle this is called helical gear this gradual engagement makes the helical gear operate more smoothly and quietly than spur gear so only the helical gears are used in the automobiles that are nothing but gear reduction boxes the while changing the gears in the automobile the noise will be less so we are using the helical gears 
one interesting setting things is about the helical gear is that if the angle of the gear teeth are correct that can be mounted on perpendicular shaft that is mounted on the perpendicular shaft adjusting the angle of rotation by 90 degrees next having bone gears to avoid axial thrust two helical gears of opposite hands be mounted side by side to cancel the resulting thrusting force here the axial thrust force can be avoided here the the two helical gears are measured to other this is called herring bone gears the two gears are measured herring bone gears are used in the heavy machineries rack and pinion rack and pinion gears are used to convert rotary motion into linear motion this is the rack this is the pinion or it is called gear this is rack is nothing but linear motion the gear is nothing but rotating motion here the rotating motion can be converted into linear motion or linear motion can be converted into rotating motion a perfect example of this of this rack and pinion is steering system on many cars in surface grinding machines when we rotate the hand wheels the table tends to move in the forward direction and reverse direction in that rack and pinion principles only apply the many applications of rack and pinion is heavy machines are used bevel gears the bevel gears is the bevel gears the bevel gears are useful when the direction of the shaft this is the direction of the shaft need to be changed here it is in the 0 degree it is in the 90 degree when we want to transmit the power 0 degree to 90 degree or it is in the angle we have to use the bevel gears the teeth on the bevel gears this is the teeth on the bevel gears can be straight or spiral or hypoid it is used in various applications like locomotive marine engines applications of automobiles printing presses cooling towers in many power plants steel plants and railway track inspection machines next we are going to see about warm and warm gears this is the warm and warm gears this is the gear this is the warm this is the gear this is the warm warm gears are used when there is a large gear reduction are needed the warm gears to have the reduction of 20 is to 1 or even 300 is to 1 there is nothing but if the one gear rotates in the one revolution the other gear can rotate up to 300 revolutions that is very used for large speed reduction area many warm gears have an intersecting property that no other gear set here the warm here the warm can easily turn the gear here the warm can easily turn the gears but gear cannot turn the warms the warm gears used widely in material handling and transportation machineries machine tools and automobiles thank you